Welcome friends, in this section we will go through the 3D animation of the gas insulated switch gear and we will see different components of the gas insulated switch gear. So here in the background here you can see 145 kV gas insulated switch gear. This is by Alstrom and here you can see this one is the circuit breaker compartment. So inside this there are the circuit breaker fixed and moving contacts and uh, the, this is a, one of the very important component of the gas and switch gear controlling switching on off and current interruption is taking place inside this uh, uh, compartment so it's called a circuit breaker compartment so the gas pressure of the circuit breaker compartment is usually higher than the other compartment is required because of our, our quenching process So this is circuit breaker compartment and here downside you can see this is the frame at which the compartment is mounted and further here you can see this is the bus bar left hand side this is the bus bar so this gas instrument switch gear has two bus bars so this is the top bus bar and this is the bottom bus bar bus bar a and bus bar b and in the downside here you can see this is the sample for the bus bar isolator and the r switch which is which can be seen here inside so adapter can be used to extend this bus bar here you can see this is again the bus bar disconnector and the R thing switch these are two together and it's more appropriate So the gas is switch gear here you can see it's a really compact unit to save the space requirement. This is the current transformer here. So it is installed with the circuit and this is the box of the CT where the all CT secondary wires are connected. So this is the circuit breaker drive or circuit breaker mechanism unit. We can call it circuit breaker box. So in this inside this one you will find circuit breaker mechanism and everything. Here you can see this is the cable ceiling end. So uh, you can see all three phases are provided here. So you can connect all phases, uh, cables of all three phases over here. And here you can see in the top, this is the line isolator and earth switch uh, assembly is here, mechanism is installed here. And this side you can see these three bars are basically the earthing arrangement. So if these bars are connected uh, to the body, we can see this the earthing point is uh, grounded. So, so this is basically combined unit. So now usually the line earth, uh, line earth switch is a high speed earth switch. And why it's line, uh, high speed earth switch we will see. And this is the voltage transformer. And here you can see this is really easily accessible. This one is the pressure gauge over here. And this is the gas filling point for SF6. This is the VT box. So SF6 is the lowest weight of uh, on the market, minimize ceiling length, operating at 30 degrees centigrade without heating. So this is the characteristics of uh, SF6 which is being used in the gas insulated switch gear. So after filling the gas, the GIS is wrapped up and any leakage is checked uh, and this wrapping is taking place up to 24 hours so these are different tests are being performed to test this assembly so you can see this is a complete assembly for the gas insulated switch gear for one bay so this is the cable bay where the cable is connected over here so other tests which are performed on this GIS include the high voltage test and here on the top you can see this is the local control cubicle okay this is the local control cubicle and this is the mimic this is called mimic over here so lcc these are these are called the heart bucks this is the lcc backside and this is the access uh, to the local control cubicle ladders this is basically uh, the width height and the length for the alastom 
circuit breaker so you can pack two bays and you can transport together in one wooden box this is also easy to transport so it can be installed without any crane this is very lightweight this is the advantage of the gas insulated switch here so if the bays are already coming assemb assembled so you, you need to do perform very less test here so this is you can see this is a VT symbol this is the circuit, uh, current transformer this is circuit breaker box circuit breaker compartment and you can see this is a really compact substation so the application of substations are when space requirement is very you have very less space compact space is there underground substation industrial substations oil and gas onshore offshore nowadays you will find more and more substation everywhere so substations are mostly uh, having a very long life up to 25 to 30 years they are almost maintenance free so no any such maintenance is required and also trouble free so these are really a good type of rugged equipment now we will go to another uh, 3d model for the switch gear uh, gas is switch gear and we identify different components that we will going to study together in detail so here you can see this is the circuit breaker compartment and here this circuit breaker compartment is in, in the horizontal view in the previously we have seen a circuit breaker compartment uh, vertical in vertical position this is the current transformer over here this is the voltage transformer this is the cable compartment once again this is basically the mimic or local control cubicle it's called LCC okay so this is 145 kV 3150 amperes 40 kilo ampere short circuit level this is a front axis where all protection and control plates are installed here this is the horizontal circuit breaker you can see these are the current transformers okay so these are installed vertically these are installed outside the gas insulated switch gear so these are quite warm type this GIS has a flexibility to move up so you can adjust your cables this is the point where you can connect another bus bar these are the gas filling uh, these are the gas filling and the viewpoints so the viewpoints are provided to check any sparking inside the contacts okay further if you open this one you can find on the top control unit control and protection units this is the ladder so using this ladder you can access different points so this is the gas density monitor installed over here this is the gas filling points are available here for you want to fix the gas in the compartment And these are the different components that you can install. This is the local control cubicle. Again, this is this is the uh, new concept about the buffer gas compartment, and this is provided for easy maintenance. So this design of this switch gear is very compact, so it resulted in almost 40% uh, saving of the SF6. So this is all about the uh, SF6 circuit breaker, uh, SF6 switch gear, different components. I say I will say you thank you very much.